So I've been using Photoshop for more than 10 years now and I still feel like I'm scratching the surface. I know it can do everything, but sometimes I need a little help getting there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this neat double color effect. Hi, I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Tuts Plus. Photoshop actions are a big help when it comes to skipping the learning curve in Photoshop. The problem is often sifting through web searches for an action that fits the effect that you want to achieve and also finding a good one that doesn't require putting in your email address to download, for example. Envato Elements is a pretty new all-you-can-download service that includes actions that are already pre-sorted and filtered for quality. You can see here that there are a ton of actions that are included as part of an Element subscription. As a creative, I really can't recommend Elements enough because it has such a deep library of different things you can use on projects. The double color effect that you see here is the one that we're going to focus on in this tutorial. This will help us create this look with actually just a few clicks. This look somehow feels retro and futuristic at the same time, and you've probably seen something like this in some images before. Let's go ahead and download the action, and one thing about using elements is that you'll enter a license usage so that you can track how you use files. It's important to note that even if you stop subscribing to elements, you can still retain the right to use the files that you license while you are a member. In the zip package that we just downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up, and there are a couple of things in here. One is an instructions file that has a PDF of how to use the action. One of my favorite things about Elements is that most of the items carry with them some really nice documentation that teach you how to use it. But I'm also going to show you how to use it in this screencast as an example. To load the actions in Photoshop, I'm actually just going to double click on the .atn file that's in the package. This adds it to Photoshop. As I come over to Photoshop, I'll open up the actions panel and you can see the actions open right here. You can open that actions panel as you saw me do from the window actions menu option. Now the examples that we looked at on elements are kind of like a double image, a double exposure effect. So what I'm going to do is open up two images and layer them on top of each other. The action will handle all of the rest. Let's just drag and drop the first image into Photoshop here. It's often the case that the most important part is choosing the right images that will work well with the action. When you choose images for a double exposure effect like this, one of the things that I'm looking for is how the subject occupies the space in each image. You want the subject to kind of overlap in some of the same parts of the canvas, but in general what I find works best is that each image is weighted a little differently. So let me show you what I mean. In this first image, I chose something for a recent shoot where the subject is occupying the right side of the frame dominantly. What will work well here is a complementary image where the content is weighted more to the left side of the frame. I've selected an image already and now I'll open it up and place it on top. It's okay that it covers up the bottom image because the action will handle all the rest. Sometimes you'll have to do a bit of layer maintenance depending on how you open the files up. On the right side on the layers panel, I'll duplicate the bottom layer so that it's not locked and works well with the action. And for the top layer, it was pasted in as a smart object, so I'll just right click and rasterize it to treat it like a normal layer. Don't worry about all this too much, just make sure that you have it as a regular layer and don't see any icons next to the layer in the layers panel. Okay, that's really all there is to it when it comes to selecting images. Let's run the action now. On the actions panel, I'll try out the red and blue one. All I have to do is press play to kick this off. Now I do get one option here, which is to set this slider. You can play with it to kind of simulate the effect, but it takes some experimentation to really understand the setting. So don't miss out on trying some different things out. Once I hit OK, it pretty much handles the rest, and we've got this beautiful double color effect rendered now. So why not try another one of the actions that came with the package? On the History panel in Photoshop, I'll just jump back to where we got everything settled. And now on the Actions panel, let's try another one of the color combos. We'll set the slider again, set OK, and we have the same effect but with an entirely different color scheme. That's all there is to it with this action really. You only have to install the actions once, and from there on out, you can apply the one of your choice to the images, so this takes almost no time in the future. These actions are really a great reminder that you don't have to be an expert and learn how to manually create every effect. I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Touch Plus, and thanks again for joining me.